Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you on how to start collecting Militaria. First, you always need to start with the reference books. This is a really good book, it's called Foreign Legions of the Third Rock. There's about five volumes. Um, it shows you good, authentic photos. You can compare with originals and reproductions of items. Um, they have color photos in, in some of the other volumes. Oh, there's color photos here. So, for instance, if you find a um, a uh, Dutch uh, arm volunteer shield, you can uh, compare that with an original or reproduction, or if you can't uh, decide if it's an original or reproduction. <clears throat> and any books by Christopher Aylesby, he is he uh, he has very 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 good reference books. In these books, he tells you how scarce these items are, just like this Eastern uh, this Eastern People's Medal. It is rarity right here. It's certainly scarce. It doesn't really focus well. I'm sorry. And it has a picture of some dude wearing it. it looks like Adolf X, not Adolf X, but what I say, Adolf X. This guy is Hans Grape. Um, and a Hitler Youth badge. And it's very rare. It's a 1941 Distinguished Volunteers or Foreigners badge. And here's another book by <coughs> Christopher Aylesby. It's on the Luftwaffe. And it shows how rare something like, like this, a pilot's badge is, is. This is very rare. This is by BSW for your information. Um, I, I lost the dust cover when I moved uh, moved my room. Uh, this is f uh, the Volkstrom book, Desperate Measures. This is very good for to see, so you can see really rare original photos in a book. And it shows you the original rifles and equipment that the Volkstrom used, and some documents. For instance, like this VG2, which is super rare. They're worth, good grief, about 20 grand. And this is the most common book that, um... World War II collectors and World War II busts tend to have. It's uh, it's called Fighting Men of World War II Axis Forces, Uniforms, Equipment, and Weapons. They also have the Allied version. This has Japan, Germany, and Italy. Those are the three major powers. And they have, like, Finland and Hungary and all those satellite states at the back. Here. This shows you the basic equipment they would have and patches and shoulder boards. Color tabs. This is Wehrmacht right here. Some supplies, like a gas canister. Marked for SS, as you can see in the center. Some uh, food containers. Africa Corps stuff. Uh, Pult, Pult, uh, failed The Felgen Murray. And weapons in this one. And goes up to Japanese and... Italian. Well, reference books are you, are you the most important stuff, and a good place to find out on where to find Militaria is uh, <clears throat> Craigslist. That's a great place, but beware of fakes. Um, uh, auctions, for instance, like affiliated auctions, Mangan's auctions is okay, and Craig Gottlieb auctions. Those are all great websites to go to, and. Antique stores, never be afraid to go to antique stores. Sometimes they might be expensive, and sometimes they might not. Because right here, I've got a Foyer Schultz Putzai helmet right there. For a hundred bucks, it's worth about five hundred bucks. It has both decals and attacks, and, and it has a liner. I got that antique store for a hundred bucks. I can sell it for five hundred, but I'm not going to sell it to go into my personal collection. <clears throat> and military shows, still, beware of fakes, but... Whitman, any of Whitman shows are very, very, very safe. Because if if a guy gets caught three productions, he, he would practically be laughed out the building for being the laughing stock of this show. Well, thank you for viewing. I hope you like this video, and please rate, subscribe, and comment. Have a nice day. Bye.